thrill of victory and agony of defeat is definitely as, as intense as it is um, during a sport, an athletic sport. And Carol Rorick would know. Longtime teacher coached high school sports before taking over the TC Central debate team eight years ago. Since then, they've grown from five members to 50 enthusiastic debaters. I love how much you learn in debate. I've learned more in debate than any other <laughs> academic class. It allows you to learn what you never learn in an academic setting in a classroom. You learn really about the world and really about the interactions and what's really going on out there. When you learn things in school, you're kind of like learning them for the sake of learning them or whatever grade you're going to get on the test. But with debate, when you learn things, you actually can apply them in some way. So you actually can use them to beat another team. Led by juniors Michael Payne and Katie Stanton, the Trojans have been beating everybody this year. So far, they've won both state tournaments during the 2011-12 school year, but win or lose, just being on the debate team looks great on any college application. We've been told by college admissions officers that a debater is the best risk because the skills that they learn in debate are skills that they're going to need across the board. Debaters drop out of school less than anybody else because they're they're more ready to handle a college type workload. Payne's college workload is sure to include debate. After attending the prestigious Dartmouth University debate camp this summer, he's being heavily recruited by several schools. But he plans to use his debate skills long after his academic career is over. The amount of research that you have to do and political structures and international politics and things like that really serves to benefit you uh, later on in life when you're actually thinking about what you think the world ought to look like. 